Namaskar, Namaste, greetings. It's the most beautiful day today, so I'm inspired to do a class that focuses on the sun salutation. So we'll be doing a whole lot of variations of the sun salutation, saluting to our beautiful sun. So let's get started, I can't wait. So today we're gonna to start on our mats in a seated position. So come into easy pose or half lotus, anything that's comfortable for you. We're gonna place our palms facing down onto our knees to ground ourselves. Just lift your torso up, sit up tall. Gently close your eyes. And just inhale and exhale naturally. Observing your breath. exhale and empty our lungs and as we inhale we're going to reach those arms up take hold of the left wrist with the right hand and just draw your body over to the right hand side and then come back through center alternate your wrists and draw your body across to the left hand side and then come back through center Interlace the fingers, press the palms away from you, and really stretch into those arms. And one deep inhalation here, and now let's exhale and bring the arms down beside us. And now inhale, arms up, and as you exhale, just shift across to one side into a side stretch, bringing your elbow to rest on your mat. And then inhale through center and exhale on the other side. Come back through center. Let's do one more. And inhale up and exhale down. Okay, let's come back to a neutral position. We're going to place the soles of the feet together in Baddha Konasana. Take hold of the toes with the hands. Draw your chest up broad and through that chest. Draw your shoulder blades in at the back. And then simultaneously, we're trying to bring our knees down towards the mat. And don't forget to breathe. move into a twist so take hold of the right foot with the left hand and place the right hand behind you now come back to center and we'll twist on the left hand side now we're going to straighten our legs and move into dandasana staff pose so flex those feet, activate your quads, shift your glutes behind you so that your pelvis is tilted slightly forward. Inhale and reach up through the arms and exhale coming into a forward fold. Just gently allow your body to surrender into your forward fold, breathing through it. Now let's slowly walk our hands back to a seated position. Now we're going to move into Sage's pose. So bend your right knee, bringing that foot and placing the sole of the foot next to your left thigh. Inhale and reach up and as you exhale, fold forward towards your left foot. Now walk the hands up, we're going to 
come into a bind. So take your right hand and wrap it around your right knee and then interlace the hands behind your back. And if you can't take a bind, then just keep holding onto your leg or your shin or your foot, whatever's comfortable for you. Okay, let's release that bind. Place the knee down onto the mat into head to knee pose. And we're gonna inhale, reaching up, and exhale as we fold forward. Slowly walk those hands up, widen the stance of your legs slightly. Inhale, reach up, shift your torso to face your bent knee, and we're going to just extend that body forward, stretching our hands in front of us and gently coming to rest over our knee. the hands back up to a seated position keeping your torso facing your your bent knee inhale up and come into a side stretch so bringing elbow to knee on the left hand side and just extend to wherever it's comfortable for you and just breathe through it This time as we inhale, we're going to move into a little back bend, stargazer. So come up onto your bent knee and allow the body just to bend back. And then come back down through seated. We'll do one more side extension. And then come back into your stargazer pose. And now let's come back to sitting on our mats. Shift that left leg back in front of you, replace the right leg. And now we're going to repeat on the left hand side. So bend your left knee, place the sole of the foot next to the right thigh. Inhale, reach up and exhale as you fold forward. And now let's walk our way back up and we're going to take a bind if you can. So sweep your left arm around your left knee. Interlace the fingers behind your back and hold your bind. And now let's release our bind. We're going to place our left knee onto the mat. Inhale, reach up and exhale into a forward fold. Okay, let's walk our way up. We're going to shift our legs slightly, so open up your leg and shift your torso so that you're facing your bent knee. Let's inhale up and we're going to fold forward, walking those hands out in front of us. And then walk your way back up to center. Inhale, reaching those arms up. 
keeping the torso facing your bent knee and come into a side stretch. And now we're going to move back into a little back bend into stargazer pose. And then come back through into your lateral extension. And let's do our last stargazer. And now come back to sitting on your mat. Let's extend both legs in front of us for the last time. And we should be feeling a little bit more supple now. So let's inhale and extend that body forward into Paschimottanasana. Okay, come back up to seated. Tuck the knees under. And let's come onto all fours into our tabletop position. Your wrists are stacked beneath your shoulders and your knees are stacked beneath your hips. Let's just rock gently back and forth, warming up our wrists. Okay, now come back to neutral and you can actually flip your, your hands over so that the palms are facing up and you're resting on the tops of your hands. And then just gently move the body back slightly. This is a good wrist stretch and something we don't often do. So don't overdo it, just hold here gently, feeling that stretch. And then let's flip the hands back, placing the palms onto the mat. Okay, we're gonna move into cat cow. So inhale as you arch that back and look ahead of you. And exhale to round in your cat pose. Inhale, arch. And exhale, round. Inhale, arch. And exhale, round. Come back to neutral. Extend your right leg behind you, coming onto the ball of the foot, and let's just warm up our calf muscles. Now float that leg up, keeping the foot flexed. Stretch your left arm out in front of you and hold. Now bend your right knee, point that toe, and take hold of the toe with the left arm. And we're moving into a little back bend. And just hold here. Okay, let's release our back bend. Replacing your hand and your knee onto the mat. And then extend the left leg back, coming onto the ball of the foot, warming up that calf muscle. And then float the left leg up, keeping the foot flexed. Raise the right arm and just hold here, activating your core. And now bend the left knee, point that toe, sweep the right arm around. Take hold of that foot, coming into a back bend. Now replace your hand and your knee onto your mat. Let's widen our knees to mat width apart. Bring the soles of the feet together and gently come back to rest in your child's pose. Two hands and knees in your tabletop position. Let's tuck our toes under, lift up those hips, 
as we move into our first downward dog of the day. Stretch into the palms of your hands and try and draw that chest towards your thighs. And let's just walk our dog, alternating bent legs, walking through that dog. And now come to settle in your dog pose. And just hold here, taking a few deep breaths. And now we're gonna walk our feet towards our hands, coming to the tops of our mats. And just allow your body to sink down here into a forward fold. You can hold on to the ankles. You can bend your knees slightly, whatever's comfortable for you. And just allow your head to fully relax releasing your neck. You can even rock gently from side to side, enjoying this forward extension. Okay, now let's come up to halfway lift. So inhale, placing your hands onto your shins and gently gaze ahead of you. And now take a deep inhalation, coming up to standing. We're going to move into our first sun salutation of the day. So come to stand in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Your toes are touching, the outsides of your feet are completely parallel. Draw up your pelvis, broaden through your chest, your shoulder blades are, are back. Inhale and reach those arms up. And you can bring the palms to touch in an upward prayer pose. And you can gently gaze up at your hands as we salute to the sun. Inhale up and exhale as you bring your hands into prayer pose. Inhale, reach up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bringing the hands on either side of your feet. Step back with the right. Lower that knee, untuck your toes, coming into crescent lunge. Now let's move back into half splits. So gently rock the body back. And then come back into your crescent lunge. Place the hands back onto the mat. Tuck the toes under, step back with the left and lift up your hips as you come into your downward facing dog. Take a few breaths in your downward dog. And now inhale and as you exhale, coming through Ashtangasana, eighth limb pose, you lower your knees, untuck your toes, draw your chest and your chin to the mat, leaving your hips extended and then gently slide through onto the pelvis, coming into baby cobra. Raise your hands on either side of your chest and gaze ahead. Now place the hands on your mat, tuck your toes under and come back through downward facing dog. Step forward with the right into crescent lunge. Now replace the hands onto the mat, left to meet right, Exhale into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And come back to standing. Okay, let's repeat on the left hand side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step back with the left, coming into crescent lunge. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale as you come into your half splits, hamstring stretch. And inhale, sweeping back into crescent lunge. Exhale, place the hands onto the mat, tuck the toes under. Stepping back into your downward facing dog. Take a deep inhalation here and as you exhale, we're coming through eighth limb. Lowering chest and chin to the mat. And then slide through into baby cobra. 
lifting up those hands and gently gazing ahead. Replace the hands on the mat, tuck the toes under and come back through into your downward facing dog. Step forward with the left. Inhale, reach those arms up in your crescent lunge. Exhale, replace the hands onto the mat, tuck the toes under, step forward with your right, coming back into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale, as we come back into standing. Okay, let's move through that one more time and we'll do it a little bit faster this time. So we should really be warming up nicely. So inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, hands to touch. Step back with the right, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hamstring stretch. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to mat, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, Ashtangasana. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, hands to mat. Coming back into downward dog. Step forward with the right. Crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And come back to standing. Let's repeat on the left hand side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step back with the left. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hamstring stretch. Inhale, crescent lunge. Hands to mat. Step back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, Ashtangasana, baby cobra. Place the hands on the mat. Downward facing dog. Step forward with the left. Crescent lunge. Hands to mat. Step forward with the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale to stand. Okay, inhale, arms up, upward prayer. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Step back with the right, left to meet right, coming into high plank. Inhale here and as you exhale, come through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Step forward with the right, left to meet right, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale as you come back to Tadasana, mountain pose, bringing the hands into heart center. Okay, let's repeat that one. So starting in Tadasana with your hands at heart center. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Step back with the left, step back with the right. Coming into high plank. Exhale through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Step forward with the left, right to meet left, forward fold. Inhale into chair pose, exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway lift, exhale forward fold. And inhale as we come back to standing. Okay, we're going to do two more of those variations. So come back to neutral in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale as you settle in heart center. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Step back with the left of the right. And start again. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Step back with the right, left to meet right, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step forward with the right, left to meet right, forward fold. Inhale to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And come back to standing. Okay, just catch your breath, take a few breaths here. You should be feeling nice and warmed up now. We'll move through one more. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Step back with the left, step back with the right. Come into high plank. Chaturanga down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step forward with the left, right to meet left, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale as we come back into Tadasana Mountain Pose. Okay, we're going to do one more sun salutation vinyasa variation. So starting again in mountain pose with the toes touching. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, bringing the hands to rest in prayer pose. Take a deep breath here and let's get started. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to mat. This time we're going to step back with our left foot. So step back with the left. Don't drop the knee. We're coming into our high lunge. Hold your lunge pose. Now from this position, rotate the torso coming into warrior two. Drop your left arm back. Reach that right arm up into reverse warrior. Come back into warrior two. Lower the right arm, bringing the elbow onto the knee. Extended side angle. Come back through warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Shift that back leg in slightly. Make sure that the foot's at a slight angle. Inhale, lifting up that torso and extending it to the side. And exhale as you come down into triangle pose. Inhale, come back up through center. Shift your right foot so that your foot is facing forwards. And now rotate that left foot to, to face the short end of the mat. And check the position of your right foot so that the toes are at a slight angle. Inhale, and let's shift our torsos into triangle pose. And exhale, coming down into triangle on the left hand side. Inhale up and exhale into warrior two. Reverse your warrior. <clears throat> and then come back through warrior two pose. Lowering your knee to your elbow, extending that arm up into extended side angle. And now come back through warrior two pose and as you exhale, Shift that torso to face the front and reach your arms up in high lunge. Hold your high lunge pose. Inhale, arms up, exhale, hands to mat. Step back with the left foot, coming into high plank. Exhale, chaturanga down. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Step forward with the left, 
right to meet left, coming into your forward fold, inhale halfway lift, exhale forward fold, and inhale as we come back up into mountain pose, Tadasana. Okay, we're going to move through one more. Okay, let's move through one more. So inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. This time we're stepping back with the right foot. Inhale, arms up, into high lunge. Exhale, twist that torso to face forwards, coming into warrior two. Let's reverse our warriors. Right arm onto right knee. And inhale, coming back through warrior two. Exhale, bringing the knee to the elbow, reaching across into extended side angle. Come back through warrior two pose. Straighten your front leg. Shift that back leg in slightly and make sure that the foot's at a slight angle. Inhale, lifting up the chest. And as we exhale, we're coming back into triangle pose. Inhale, arms up. Shift the toes around so both feet are now facing forward. And then rotate your right leg, preparing for warrior two on the right hand side. Inhale, lifting that chest up, and exhale, coming into triangle pose. And now inhale back to center, bend your right knee, warrior two. Let's reverse our warriors. Come back through warrior two pose and exhale as you come into extended side angle. Inhale, coming back up through warrior two pose. And now let's twist our torsos to face the front of our mats. Inhale, reaching those arms up as we come back into our high lunge. Exhale, hands to mat. Step back with the right, high plank. Exhale, down through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step forward with the right, left to meet right, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale as we come back to standing in Tarasana. Okay, we're going to move through one more and I'm just going to add a little variation in the middle as well. So it'll be a slightly longer vinyasa. So bring your toes to touch. Pull up into your Tadasana mountain pose. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, forward fold. Step back with the left. High lunge. Rotate the torso. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Come back through warrior two. Extended side angle. Inhale, coming back through warrior two. Straighten that front leg. Shift the back leg in. Inhale, lifting up the chest. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, come back through neutral. Face both feet so that they're facing forward. Take the hands, place them onto the hips. Inhale, lift up the chest and exhale as we come into forward fold. Place the hands onto the ground. You can come up onto your fingertips so that the back is slightly arched. You can heel toe your feet out so they're a little bit wider. Inhale here and as you exhale, lower that body down. Now walk the hands across to the right hand side, bending your right knee. Shift the foot so that the foot's at a 45 degree angle. We're coming into side lunge, skandasana. And let's take a bind here. If you can't hold your bind, then you're welcome to just leave your hands here to support your body in this pose. 
And let's walk through to the other side. Coming into Skandasana on the left hand side. Find your balance. And then you can take your bind. And now let's walk back through centre. Coming back onto the fingertips. Placing the hands onto the lower back. And inhale as you come back up to standing. Inhale, reach the arms up. Shift your left foot so that the foot is rotated towards the short end of your mat. Inhale, broaden through the chest. And exhale into triangle pose. Inhale, coming back up through center. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Come back through warrior two. Extended side angle. Now from here, we're going to rotate our torso. Inhale, high lunge. And now take one last inhalation, placing and then exhale as you place the hands onto the mat. Step back with the left foot coming into high plank, chaturanga down, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Step forward with the left, step forward with the right, halfway lift, exhale down, and come all the way up to standing in Tadasana. Okay, we're going to repeat on the right hand side. So inhale, reach those arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Step back with the right, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, rotating the torso into warrior two pose. Reverse your warrior. Come back through warrior two, extended side angle. Come back through warrior two, straighten your front leg, shift that back leg in. Inhale, lifting up through the chest and exhale into triangle pose. Inhale, coming back through neutral, shift both feet so that they're facing forward. Place the hands onto the hips. Inhale, lifting up the chest and exhale as you fold forward. Place the hands onto the mat, coming onto the fingertips. You can heel toe your feet out into a wider stance. Inhale, lifting up through the chest and exhale as you fold forward. And let's walk across to the left hand side this time. Shift your left foot so that the foot is at a 45 degree angle. Come to settle in Skandasana and bring the hands to prayer pose. And now let's walk across to the right hand side, bending that right knee and coming to settle in prayer pose. And now let's walk back to center, coming back to rest on the fingertips and Place your hands onto your lower back as you support your back to come to standing. Now let's shift that right foot so that the right foot is facing towards the short end of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale as we come into triangle pose. Inhale, come back through standing. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Come back into warrior two. Bend that elbow, extended side angle. Come, in, my puppy. Come back through warrior two pose, rotate that torso, inhale, reach the arms up into your high lunge. Exhale, place the hands onto the mat, step back with the right foot, coming into plank position. Exhale through chaturanga, Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Step forward with the right, left to meet right, coming into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, 
and inhale as we come to standing in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Okay, well done. Let's move on to our mats now, doing some nice supine poses. So inhale, reach the arms up, and as you exhale, we'll come through chair pose. Hold your chair pose, and then gently try and lower your body down without using your hands, and come to sitting on your mat. Okay, let's shift back into the center of our mat. Press into the soles of the feet. Inhale as we lift the torso up into reverse tabletop. And now lower back onto the mat. Inhale, lift up and hold. And now come back to sitting. Using the hands as support, lift up your legs so that the shins are parallel to the mat. Now inhale. And as you exhale, just round the lower back slightly for both pose, and then reach the arms out in front of you. And now from here, we're gonna straighten both legs, holding our both pose. And just hold. If you need to rest, then place the feet back onto the mat. Let's try and hold our both for a bit. Scrape our abs. And now exhale, come back to neutral. You can hug your knees, coming into a little ball. Place the soles of the feet back onto the mat and then slowly lower down to come onto our backs. Now bring both knees into your chest, hug your knees and just rock gently from side to side. And then place the feet back onto the mat, placing the palms of the hands down, so the palms are pressing down into your mat. Inhale, and as you exhale, lift the pelvis up as we come into bridge pose. Find your balance, support your, your body on your shoulders. And once you've stabilized, interlace the fingers and draw the hands towards your feet and this will give you a further extension in your bridge pose. And now slowly lower the body down and bring the knees into your chest and hug your knees. Let's move into shoulder stand. So from this position, just gently rock your body up into a little ball. Use your hands as support on your lower back. If you have any neck, neck injuries, then um, don't do shoulder stand, just stay in bridge pose. You can take another bridge pose. For the rest of us, you can come into your shoulder stand, extending those legs up, flex the feet, point the feet, flex and point. And at all times, just keep your neck in neutral. And now we can go into scissors. So opening one leg at a time. And then coming back to a neutral position. Now we're gonna bend our knees and move into plow pose. So bend your knees, draw those knees towards your face and then extend the feet behind you. And you can straighten your legs into plow pose. Otherwise, if you want to keep your legs bent, that's absolutely fine. And once you've settled into your plow, place the hands onto the mat. And now bend the knees, rolling up your little body. Come back up through shoulder stand, hold your shoulder stand. Point and flex the feet. And now bend the knees come into a little ball and roll back down onto the mat. Let's just rest here with a neutral spine. So just allowing your spine to completely fully rest. And now extend the right leg and place it onto the mat, lifting up the left leg. Take hold of the left knee with the right hand and let's move into a twist.
and then come back up through neutral, placing that leg back onto the mat. Raise your right knee up, take hold of the right knee with the left hand and move into a twist. And then come back up through neutral and replace that leg onto the mat. Now let's lift up our right knee, drawing that knee into our chest. And now draw the knee into your armpit, so widen your hip opener. And then take hold of the ball of the right foot with the right hand, drawing that leg up. So you're coming into half happy baby pose and then if you can you can straighten that leg and bring it out to the side into a lateral extension and then bring the leg back to the center and replace it on the mat bringing and replace it on the mat. Let's draw the left knee in, bringing the left knee into the chest. And now extend that stretch as you draw the knee towards your armpit. Now take hold of the ball of the left foot as we come into happy baby pose. And then for a further extension, if you can, you can straighten that leg and draw the leg down into a side stretch. And now let's replace that leg onto the mat, bringing both knees back up into our chest in a little ball, rocking from side to side. And then place both feet back onto the mat lift up your right knee and straighten that right leg flexing the foot and then just try and draw the leg towards your chest and we're going to move into another side stretch here so if you can take hold of the foot with the hand or just hold the leg wherever it's comfortable for you place your left arm onto the ground for support and just open up that right leg into a side stretch. And draw the leg back up and replace it onto the mat. Now let's lift the left leg and straighten that leg up, drawing the leg towards your chest. Now take hold of that foot or any part of the leg that's comfortable for you and draw the leg down into a side stretch. And then bring that leg back up to centre and replace it on the mat. Now bend your right leg and place the right ankle onto your bent left knee. Sweep the hands through to take hold of the thigh and draw the legs towards you in a figure of four. And now place the hands back onto your mat. Let's move into a twist as we bring the right leg to place it onto the ground. come back through neutral replace the right foot onto the mat bend that left leg and cross the ankle onto the knee sweep the hands through and draw the knees towards the chest in a figure of four shape and now let's move into a twist
back through neutral and replace both feet onto the mat. Inhale, reach the arms up. Interlace the fingers and press through the palms. And exhale as we bring the hands back to rest on either side of our feet. Now this time we're just going to come into our Shavasana, so gently extend both legs. Come to rest on your mat. Widen the stance of your legs so that they're mat distance apart. Allow your feet just to gently drop to the side. Allow the arms just to come to rest on either side of you. Palms are facing up. Gently close your eyes and settle into Shavasana. And just gently and naturally observe your own breath as you inhale and exhale. And try and center your thoughts onto your breath to just stay focused in the present moment, enjoying this relaxation time. Let's slowly become aware of our bodies on our mats. Rub your fingers and thumbs together. Rotate your wrists and your ankles. Inhale and bring the legs together, pointing the toes and reaching up above your head. And exhale as you hug your knees, rocking from side to side. And this time let's rock our way up. So cross your ankles. Take hold of the backs of the knees with your hands and gently just rock your body up. It's quite fun, you can do a few little rocks. And then come back up to a seated position. Cross your legs, inhale, reaching up and exhale as you bring your hands to heart center in prayer pose. Take a few deep breaths here. In gratitude thank you for spending this time with me I hope you enjoyed the class namaste have a beautiful day thank you bye